Well, I have had the privilege of working in Lagos in Nigeria, one tiny part of a very large country. And with, certainly with the schools that we've been working with, it has been really welcomed. Uh, they see VBE as a wonderful way forward for supporting both their children and their state. I, I think it, it's differently effective, but there is something about the Thai culture that embraces the reflective part of VBE in a much more natural way, whereas in schools in the UK, that's an area where we have to work a little harder. Um, on the other hand, there are other aspects of BB that are completely new to the Thai school um, and then they, they, they take that on a little, a little less easily. So it's a different challenge, but they have really embraced the whole idea of VBE. Obviously, VBE in uh, Nigeria is a real challenge. Um, it's a very different way of uh, running your life. Uh, Nigerian people are highly educated, very intelligent, um, and they are very purposeful. S reflection is not part of their culture, so as Sue said, mm. this is a really difficult um, area for them. Um, and obviously they're a very Christian culture, certainly in Lagos, and so BB sits very well with the Christian community, the Christian teaching, so it's, uh, the community is very happy to accept BBE in its schools. Um, but it's not without its challenges because life um, in Nigeria is tricky, it's very challenging, and it actually accepting that your life should be uh, defined and guided by universal human positive values is quite a challenge for them. The teachers in, in Nigeria are very aware that Nigeria faces a lot of problems. Um, obviously corruption is very high on the agenda. Um, systems, um, uh, community systems don't get developed because of money gets lost. And they are so keen for their country to be successful. It's a huge country. It's going to be larger than the United States by the middle of the next decade with a massive population. And they actually want their country to succeed, to be successful in this world, to become a first world country. But they know that they can only do this if they have citizens who have their behaviors deeply rooted in, in positive values. Um, so they see it absolutely as the way forward for their country. You know, if you can start and develop in children um, humanity, integrity, um, honesty, cooperation in the young child, then maybe there's a hope for Nigeria in the future. Also, although many of the schools had, were, were practicing Islam as well, we've worked with both, and uh, VBE is equally acceptable to both the religions. In, in Thailand, I think the attraction uh, of VBE is that it isn't linked to any faith and therefore it's, it's applicable in an international school which is where I was working um, and yet it also sits very well with the Buddhist values which of course is the national faith so it, it sort of wins in, in both ways and certainly the staff embrace the whole idea of role modelling and they could, they could see the power of that, of becoming positive role models, um, although it may, it may be an area where they've got to work at it, but nevertheless, um, everyone was really positive about the message about VBE, and the lovely thing is that it's a brand new school, and they chose to, to be a VBE school before they decided anything else. So that's, yeah, it's really good.